Hello and welcome to Podil Leather. Uh, this is going to be a, a kind of build along uh, 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 instructional tutorial for how to make one of these. Uh, this is our uh, La Sap uh, 13 inch MacBook cover. Um, it's a very simple, very simple design. It's basically just a, a, a sleeve that you can um, put on your MacBook. There we go. Slides nicely in and out. Um, very simple design, um, but it's actually quite a nice, uh, a nice project uh, because it's a nice. It's basically just two bits of leather stuck together. But um, in, in making something nice and simple like this, you'll get used to. Um, to some of the basic leather tools. So you'll need to uh, draw and cut out the pieces of leather. Um, you'll need to glue and stitch them. You'll need to uh, um, use the wing dividers and some, some basic tools that you'll, you'll be very familiar with once you've done two or three bits of um, uh, leather work. Um, it's, it's, uh, the design uh, could, there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could, um, uh, and we, we, we've tried all of these uh, here um, at Podil Leather. You can stitch them, um, so you could stitch the two short sides and put the MacBook in um, long way, so you can slide it in that way. Um, actually, my, my own uh, MacBook sleeve is done like that, but um, I, don't, I, I don't, don't like it. I prefer the one where you, you have a, an opening at the short end um, for the simple reason it, uh, of being able to basically um, you can basically put it in and the, the case stays straight while you're pull it, pulling it on. The one, the one where you put it in this way, it's a little bit more floppy on the long side and a little bit harder to um, get your MacBook in and out. Um, but that is a variation that you could uh, uh, make of this design. You, you might decide that you prefer to put the MacBook in the long, long side um, and then you'll stitch up the two short sides. Um, Another th nice thing about this design, um, uh, something that we've considered, so you could um, include uh, a, a something which would lock the MacBook in, so a, 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 an edge that folds over or even just a band that folds over and, and, and either folds under another flap or uh, a clip, uh, a um, stud, uh, 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 I've forgotten what they're called. Um, basically, an, an attachment here that so it folds over, and you either either have a buckle or something that attaches it to the thing. Um, the reason why um, we haven't done it, uh, we don't have anything uh, else on this piece of uh, on the on this on this model, is because actually it's very nice to have a slim, uh, simple piece that, that you can slide in and out of your briefcase or in and out of your. Um, uh, 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 backpack. Um, the other thing is, the other bonus is, is, is this design lies completely flat. Okay, so when you take your take it off your MacBook and put it on the table, it's completely flat. Um, and what you can either you can either then use it as a mat for your um, to put your MacBook on, or even better, you can have it next to you and use it. It doubles up as a nice flat mouse mat. Um, so that's why we don't put any uh, 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 loops on it. And because the design is it's measured, uh, made to measure exactly for these MacBooks, um, it's not going to slip off. It's not, it's not big and floppy, so it's, a, it's actually quite tight. When they're, when they're new, newly made like this one, um, they're quite tight uh, to get on and off the MacBook, so you even have to uh, uh, pull it quite hard to get it out. Um, it will loosen up slightly with, with use, um, but it's definitely not going to slip off, so you don't, I don't see any benefit of having a, a retainer on this kind of, this kind of sleeve. Um, okay, so that's it. That, that's, that's the case that you're going to make. I um, hope you enjoy the, the build along. Uh, uh, it's one of our first videos we've made, so um, we always value your feedback. Any, any sort of uh, uh, um, additional information which isn't shown in the video, I'll try to include underneath the video uh, in the notes. And of course, uh, we welcome your feedback in the comments, uh, or you can contact us uh, at info at podil, or sorry, info at podleather.com. All right. Onto the video. Ah, I should just say there's two parts to this build along as well. There's, there's a, uh, because it's one of our first videos, we wanted to introduce you to some of the basic tools. Um, so part one is, is a look at the tools you'll use in this video, and part two is how to make the lab, laptop case. Okay, that's it from me. Enjoy the video.